Hey everybody, we are teaching Vermilion. And now we're going to take a close look at this mixing tray. This white panel across the bottom of the easel. This acts almost like a second palette where we can experiment with colors, blend different colors, find exactly the shade we want before we bring it onto the actual canvas. The mixing tray has the advantage that it's not going to clutter up your palette with colors you don't need. It's very easy to clean and it allows us to use it like a holding pattern if we're customizing palettes. I can switch between palettes and save custom colors right there while I work. So let's gonna, we're going to switch to the headset view so we can get a good close-up look at this mixing tray and how it works in conjunction with our brushes and palettes. So hang on, here we go. So this is the mixing tray at the bottom of the easel. It itself is a fairly flat white surface and we've got this handle that we can grab and sweep across to clean it, to erase it. We don't have to move it all the way. We can actually leave it in the middle. So we have sort of two areas where we can experiment and can clean either side as we go. It's white instead of a wood pattern. So if we mix colors, especially transparent colors with a thinner, we can see how it's going to look on white before we put it on the canvas. So let's experiment. We're going to grab our palette. We're going to grab a nice brush. So if I wanted to make a custom red, for example, normally I could mix right on the palette. There's nothing wrong with that. We can get experimenting with colors, try different colors, get it exactly the shade we want and then transfer that color to the palette. The problem is, once I've got a good color, if I start experimenting with more colors and I want to reset my palette, I'm going to lose all the custom colors I've made. If I've got custom colors on the mixing tray, then I can clean the palette as much as I need now I can clean the palette and still have access to the custom colors. So I'm going to use this mixing tray to experiment. I can paint in 20 different shades of red from one spectrum to the other. And I don't have to worry about how it mixes up on the palette. I don't have to worry about how much room I'm taking up. So now I can try experimenting, find different shades. I can always clear out more room and get more shades. Now I'll bring in some thinner. How does that look with a thinner? Now we'll get some more thinner. And we'll get some more thinner. And we'll get some more thinner. Ah, now it's nice and thin. So I didn't take up space. Now I can add that super thin to my palette and have access to it as I go. Now I can clean this out. Work with me here. And I still have this nice thin red I can keep going back to. So it's for mixing colors, experimenting with colors, and holding colors so I can build up my custom palettes using these controlled methods. So if I need to reset my palette, I can go back and get that fresh transparent red. So the mixing tray, as opposed to the palette, it's used for reserving colors, experimenting with colors, and it's always going to be right there at your fingertips. It will get cleaned out between sessions. So if you leave Vermilion, it will wipe your tray. It does not get saved. But as long as I transfer the colors to a palette and then save the palette, now I can build up an ocean palette or a forest palette based on the colors I mix and I can mix as much as I want and still see how it looks against the canvas. Hopefully this makes sense. Let's switch back to the headset, uh, to the studio view to wrap up. So that's really the gist of how the mixing tray 
works with everything else. It's really just more free space to experiment against a white background, so you don't need a scratch canvas or something like that, and to help keep your palette just the colors you actually want to use on the canvas. Rather than experimenting in here, we have our own separate experimental area, so this can be kept as sharp and as clean as possible. Not necessary, but it may help you have more control if you have a habit of cluttering up your palette. Get used to using the mixing tray to help save time and space. I hope this makes sense. Let me know in the comments below if it doesn't or if you still have more questions. We do this all the time at youtube.com slash shameless mayhem. So come join us for some more oil painting in vermilion. Thanks everybody, have fun.